Today, I'm going to walk you through how to exclude bank transactions that you no longer want or you don't want that have been downloaded from your banking institution. Now, there are a number of reasons why you'd want to do this. One could be that you find a duplicate transaction in the downloads and until you check it against your actual bank statement you may not be sure as to whether it truly is a duplicate because it could be a mistake by the bank they've made a payment twice it's not unusual though for the downloads to duplicate anyway so a transaction is downloaded in error and you just want to get rid of it another reason is you want to delete the transaction but you're a bit nervous about getting rid of it permanently so to exclude is a nice halfway house of taking it out of your real-time bookkeeping and accounting, but it's still there in case you want to reinstate them. And also, you may want to reinstate them. And why would you want to? I'll tell you in a little while after I've showed you how you actually do it and you can see how it works. So first of all, let's assume, let's go to the MasterCard account here. Now let's make the assumption that when you set up the bank feeds in QuickBooks Online, it also included a MasterCard that is not, strictly speaking, a business card, but it's attached to the accounts. So it could be just be a personal card. It's not unusual. I do have clients that have all their accounts with one bank and the personal and the business all came through when they, they actually set it up themselves you can actually set it up to be more selective but in this instance it's come through and it's part of your account the other thing as well is if you do use your own card for purchases on behalf of the business it allows you then to categorize them within your accounts straight away without having to put it through as an expense and this is a great one for exclusion and why I said I'd explain why you'd want to reinstate because let's just assume that we exclude all of these and assume that they're all personal but it could be that right here Lara's lamination actually was an expense on behalf of the business so what you could do is leave that one there and exclude all the others and then code that to a business expense and that would be fine so but first of all let's take a look at how you physically exclude them and it's very simple you can either do individual transactions and just click the ones you want or as I have with some of my customers as well where they have a whole bank account that actually doesn't touch the accounts that I do for them because it's handling for example I have letting agents where their client account never comes into their physical account in terms of the individual transactions because they handle those in a bespoke letting agent software so it's already reconciled there so we take it out of the accounts and all we do is just put through an amount of money to represent it but so here in that instance or in their instance we would just click click the whole lot then we will go to batch actions click exclude selected and voila they're gone so if you then go to excluded there they all are if later down the line you either can prove because you have a receipt or you remember or realize hold on a minute this one Lara was actually for the business all you do select it and you can go to undo from here if you're doing a batch or if you come across you can see you can just click undo here and then when we go back to the main review there's Lara and then you can code it as normal and that's pretty much it. Just remember to compare it to your physical bank statements or your online bank statements and do a bank reconciliation just to make sure that anything you've excluded should have been. And then you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.